As we all know, semi-tractor trailers ride higher on the road, and that creates dangerous space underneath for the average car to go underneath in a crash. The rear of trucks are already supposed to be protected against that, but guarding the sides could soon be down the road as well. Whatever you're ordering this holiday season is probably going to be in the back of someone's tractor trailer at some point. They keep America moving. Most of the freight in the country is delivered by truck. Semi tractor trailers loaded up for the long haul as the biggest link in the supply chain. Some of the rears are a little bent. Krista Hammock of Jeffersonville scrutinizes trucks more than most. Those flats are to save gas, more money instead of saving lives. For very personal reasons. It's time for the sides, it's coming down the pipe. Her daughter Erin, along with a friend, died instantly in 2018 when their car went under a jackknife truck which crossed over into their lane. What needs to happen is, is happening. The trillion dollar infrastructure bill signed into law in mid-November requires not only better inspection of rear safety guards, but also calls for more research on side guards which could give Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg the green light down the road to require them on trucks as well. We were very relieved to have the pressure cooker lifted to get the right voices at the right table. That table is also set in the law with the establishment of the Advisory Committee on Underride Protection with 20 seats at the table. Motor vehicle engineers, motor vehicle crash investigators, truck safety organizations, the insurance industry. A diverse makeup with two representatives from each perspective, including the families of underride crash victims. Uh, motor carriers, including independent owner operators. That's us. Although the owner operator independent drivers association has two of their own. Don't get me wrong. Uh, we don't pass up opportunities to have our voices heard. The organization argues there's already an agenda and it doesn't involve topics of discussion. The makeup of that committee, and I think, well, we can see what's happening here. Uh, we can see what the results are going to be based on who's participating in this committee. So you feel like the advisory committee is lopsided? Yeah, absolutely. The Trucking Association wonders if their arguments that side safety rails, among other issues, will cost too much money, will affect weight distribution, and will cause trucks to get stuck on tracks they don't, oh my goodness. with results like this will actually be considered, although controlled crashes involving cars have shown side guards can be effective. Critics contest that they're still unproven. Most of the time, uh, folks will be exceeding 35 miles an hour in speed. They're not going to be hitting it perpendicularly. And we need to see how these guards that are currently available would handle the type of crashes that you can actually expect to have on the road. And right now, we just don't have that. More research is already mandated, and Krista Hammond will wait. They're not going to build this standard without reliable data. It's always been a long road since losing Aaron. We have done all the right things to get this moving. I think she'd be proud. It's a great purpose to have. Despite their strong stances, one thing both supporters and critics of side under ride guards do agree on is better data, including more uniform police reporting on those kinds of crashes. John Charlton, WHAS 11, on your side.